we have already mentioned in our previous things that the root, the major main route for trade to Syria passed nearby Medina and it was very badly threatened. Now, because of the previous two wars, people had also started joining the Muslims. Another strange thing happened which frightened the non-believers more. And what was that? That was Muslim influence in Najd and Damtul Jundal. Now these two places, they are located on the route that leads towards Iraq. Iraq was an other alternative for their trade. So by Muslim influence on this route also, the both sides were blocked and they were more scared now. This was a great setback to the crash because they had nothing else virtually to fall back on except the trade. They had no land, they had no crops, they had no other business like this. It was only trade, trade and trade. And now that both the alternatives were threatened seriously, they also took this threat more seriously. If these two routes were permanently dominated or occupied by the Muslims, they were left with no third option. They had no alternative. Had they got any alternative, well, one can say they may not have gone for such like offensive action. But unfortunately, the stuff which they would exchange or sell or purchase was available only to these places, that is Syria and Iraq. And en route, there were so many villages, small cities, and suburbs where people would wait for these trade caravans to purchase the things of their own choice. They had many other things in mind, and those cannot be explained in a very short time. Thousands of books have been written on that. The first thing is that they wanted to stop the growing strength, the growing number of Muslims day by day, and it was growing very fastly. And those who would embrace Islam, they would really embrace it from the core of their heart. The second threat, biggest threat was for them that the area occupied or under the influence of Muslims was also expanding and increasing day by day. And if this process continued, then they were being shrunk and shrunk and shrunk. And ultimately, they would be virtually imprisoned in Mecca where, where there was nothing for them to fight, to eat, or even to wear or meet the necessities of daily life.